Hello, this is the Greater Lagos Vision and I'm your host, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. The much-awaited Eco Rice is now available in the market. This follows the formal launch of the 5 billion naira Eco Rice Forward Contract Program on the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange by the State Governor, Babajide Sawonlu. The launch, which took place at UAC Building in Marina, marks a significant milestone in the state government's drive to promote agriculture and enhance food security in the state. The forward contract is the first series of 30 billion naira private commodity notes insurance program facilitated by the state government to ensure undisrupted party supply, enhanced quality management. It is also to ensure transaction efficiency and transparency. Governor Sangulu noted that by guaranteeing the availability of affordable rice, the state is ensuring food security for over 80% of Lagos families. This is the Greater Lagos Vision. Lagos is indeed rising. Welcome once again. I'm Love Ikuku Oyedoku. This episode features a co-rise hits the market as Seoul launches 5 billion naira forward contracts for party supplies. Lagos, Seoul Lu proclaims 10th Lagos Assembly urges legislative focus on people's welfare. Education, Seoul Lu rewards Lasso's best graduating students with 10 million naira cash prize. Details of these and many more when we return. Please stay with us. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somulu has launched the onboarding of a co rice at the State Commodities and Features Exchange. Rice produced from the Lagos State owned 32 metric tons per hour Imoto rice mill in Ikorodu has now hit the market. <laughs> The launch is the first series of the 30 billion Naira Eco Rice contract programs on the Lagos Commodities and Features Exchange, which will supply 15,000 metric tons of undisrupted paddy to the mill and to be milled and sold to the public through subscribers. The forward contract for Eco Rice is the first to be listed and traded in Nigeria's commodities exchange ecosystem. See? It's full grain. Long grain. Long grain, yes. I give you Eco Rice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The private listing of the Lagos rice excited commodity brokers, farmers, and investors in the commodities market as first 5,000 contracts issued on the exchange floor were traded at the value of 195 million naira. The offer for 50 kg of a co rice opened on June 13 at the rate of 33,000 naira per note. Commodity brokers said the encouraging performance recorded by Ecorise at first trading in the commodities exchange was due to its well cleaned grains and high grade texture, which positioned the crop for fair competition with imported rice in the market. This event of the launch of the 5 billion Nara Ecorise Force contract is indeed a great milestone the annals of the community ecosystem in Nigeria, being the first forward contract to be introduced into the community space. Most importantly to us is the fact that the Lagos State Government is blazing the trail as the initiator of the Eco Rise Forward contract. By this singular act, the Lagos State has proven once again its capacity and post sightedness in championing and promoting food security for the good people of Lagos State in particular and the entire country 
Nigeria. Indeed, very privileged to host Your Excellency as he launches the first in Nigeria Eco Rise Forward contract. The Eco Rise has been made available for viewing today, as all of you can see from every corner, right from the entrance to this arena. The cycle for every transaction is going to be 60 days. So, five cover for 60 days. Then, um, if you multiply that by six, which is for a year, 12 months, you have 30 billion. Now, why is it 5 billion? The required amount of paddy that is required to produce rice at the mill, which is in tons, will cover about um, 15,000 metric tons every 60 days, which will be about 5 billion. And when that is done, the rice that's produced is what you see here, will be traded on the exchange. The redemption is what you can take at the factory. We want to first of all thank uh, Mr. Governor for giving us this opportunity. Last year when he came to launch um, gold, he had given us reassurance that this particular transaction, Eco Rice, will be coming. And also we want to thank him also that he has been able to create a linkage between the public sector and the private sector bringing in transparency and efficiency to the market. Governor Babajide Sawolu said the achievement is to create opportunities and to ensure a sustainable supply. As we all know, agriculture is a critical sector of our economy and we are all committed to the growth and the development of it. Our goal is to make Lagos a hub for agricultural production and processing in the country. And when we say a hub, we mean it by every facet of it. We believe that agriculture has the potential to create jobs, to create wealth, and to reduce poverty and enhance food security in our country. We've kept, we've kept, all of us have kept saying that we need to feed ourselves. We need to grow what we eat, and we need to eat what we grow. And we cannot but make Lagos as an example for that. We cannot give the reasons and excuses that we're because we're the tiniest state in the country and we have the largest population, we're just going to throw in the towel and we should not be able to provide food for our people. And so Lagos sees rice as an important stable. It is consumed by almost 80% of the Lagos family. It is therefore understood that it's a key driver of our economy and of food security and a plan to ensure that we can continue to feed this large population. And so rice became a commodity that we believe has to be affordable and has to be available. And to achieve the entire value chain around the capacity building, which was started several years ago, was to enhance and improve the capacity of our local rice producers. And we did that over a couple of years. And I want to say that Dr. Fashola, who used to be my special advisor, who I'm sure will still have a role to play in Lagos, also led that conversation several years ago. And which led to us at that time setting up a small meal. It was about a three metric ton meal. But we became very audacious and we wanted to take the bull by the horn. And so Lagos State, you know, um, agreed to set up the largest rice mill in the whole of Sub-Saharan. And they said it's about the third or the fourth largest in the world a 32 metric ton per hour rice mill here in Lagos um, at the center of excellence. And I'm happy. And I'm happy that the commissioning early this year was done by no other than our former president, President Muhammad Buhari, during his official formal visit to Lagos in January. This 32 metric ton per hour rice mill will utilize about 200,000 metric ton of paddy Paddy is the major, that's the, that's the real component. That's, the, that's, the, that's what gives it life. And paddy is what turns into rice. Um, about 200,000 metric tons of, of paddy, which at the end of the year will give us about 2.5 million 50 kg bag. What you're seeing here is a typical 50 kg bag. So the meal at full production in a year is supposed to have 2.5 million bags. That's a lot of bags, right? And so, for us, we're truly, truly excited. But for us to have a sustainable model, you need to be able to activate who are the real paddy producers and paddy you know, um, growers 
in a country. And because that is the major feed into the rice mill, we have to be very strategic and we have to be able to realize that we don't have even the land size to grow paddy. Paddy is something that grows in another part of the country, but they need to have a means of guaranteed purchase. Um, I'm happy that Alaji is here um, from Niger State. I've also been given, when I say I, the state, we've also been given about 100,000 hectares of land that the Niger State Governor says they will give us. So we, we will walk around, you know, how we'll ensure that we strategically identify in Niger, in Kwara, in Nasarawa, big farms that we also can uh, partake in. Because that is the mainstay of rice production, is paddy production. And so these 5 billion series of a 30 billion eco rice contract program is to ensure that a sustainable supply of rice paddy for smooth running of the rice mill. And it's a PPP program that will provide a platform for farmers, for processors, and for traders to buy and sell rice, to buy and sell rice contract at a fair price. This program is also to provide a guarantee for quality and for quantity of rice to be produced. I think everybody has come out to say that eco rice will compete with any of the best grades of rice that comes out from any mill in the world. And we believe that negotiations deserve the very, very best at all times. And so the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange is a critical component of this program. It is a platform that provides a transparent and an efficient market for trading of agricultural commodities and derivatives. The exchange has the potential to transform the agricultural sector of Lagos and Nigeria in, in total into providing a reliable and efficient market for, market for farmers, for processors, and for traders. And so on your behalf, I want to congratulate and thank the, the Commodity Exchange again for leading in this conversation. This partnership, we believe, will drive the creation of financial instruments for party and for head rice trading on the exchange and for the benefit of price value chain um, for all stakeholders. Under this agreement, the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange will supply about 15,000 metric tons of paddy on a three-month circuit, like the MD had said, and will be milled and then sold to the public through a subscription. Today's bell ringing ceremony is to herald the listing of the 30 billion rice paddy contract for Lagos rice mill in Mota, which will be traded on the floors of the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange. This will heighten the opportunity available for the investing public to go into rice and the entire value chain for the agricultural sector, to draw the attention of the local and international investors into the Lagos rice mill and deepen our capital markets and be able to create you know, an ambience where all of the features and all of the opportunities in the market and the ecosystem are well strengthened. Participating partners commended the state government for the giant steps taken in collaborating with private sectors in ensuring adequate food security in the state. We are very happy to be part of this project. And, um, you know, we, when, when the governor um, inaugurated the Mortar Rice Mill, we were part of those who supplied the first rice party. Um, this is outside the party funded by the Lagos State Government. In fact, I'm sure John Bent was the first private sector that landed the first set of rice party. And we did not, we did not just supply the rice party. We are back here, not for the rice party, but for the rice itself. And I'm here with my people. Um, we have a mandate to trade nothing less than 5,000 contracts before we leave here today. So it's already, it's already a success. There were 13 aggregate commodities that were traded on the LCFE, and these are paddy rice, shea butter, gold, cocoa, cassava, soya beans, among others. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has proclaimed the first session of the 10th House of Assembly 
following the inauguration of 40 members elect of the state legislatures by the clerk. The ceremony, Sawun Lee said, symbolized the continuity of the state's democratic journey. He noted that the role of legislature as indispensable pillar of democracy was vital in exercising the power of the people in a system of governance. Ms. Aminat Yusuf, the best graduating student from Lagos State University, Lasso, was recently rewarded with a cash prize of 5 million naira for her brilliance by Governor Papayide Sawolu. The governor also announced an additional prize of 5 million from the state government to reward the 23-year-old fresh law graduates unprecedented feat. Ms. Amina Yusuf graduated from the Lagos State University Lasso as the institution's best student of all time. Amina Yusuf from the Department of Law graduated with cumulative grade point average of 5.0. Speaking during the ceremony, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu announced a reward of 10 million naira for the overall best graduating student of the 2021 2022 academic session, Aminat Yusuf. He commended Lagos State University for being steadfast in his commitment to providing high quality graduates and skilled manpower to meet socioeconomic needs of the state and the country in general. While recounting the institution's achievements, Sawolu assured of more support for the university towards sustaining the standards and improving its academic profile in order to compete on a global stage. The best graduating student in her remarks recounted that she was faced with financial constraints during her study, but was determined to strive towards academic excellence. Lasso Vice Chancellor Professor Olatunji Bello described the occasion as symbolic. She said the tertiary institution has fulfilled the founding principles of its establishment 40 years after, stressing that the university has made its mark on education over the last four decades. Today's ceremony does not just wrap up the 26th convocation. It is also a symbolic occasion of fulfillment and pride for the students who have been found worthy, both in character and learning, to be conferred with the highest academic degree of this great university. The school graduated a total of 10,966 students, 282 students bagged first class. 3,375 graduated with second class upper division. 5,311 got second class lower division. And 1,105 finished with a pass. Former Lagos State Governor Babatunde Raji Fashola, the Chief of Staff to the President, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, former Ekiti State Governor Dr. Kayode Fayemi, and Lagos State First Lady Dr. Ibijuke Sawonlu were conferred with honorary doctorate degrees. <music> Lagos State University, this is to certify that His Excellency Mr. Obatunde Raji Fashola, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Commander of the Order of the Niger, under the authority of the Senate, is hereby confer the Doctor of Human Letters, Urban and Rural Community Development and Youth Empowerment, Honorary Consul, today, 22nd day of June 2023. Congratulations. Elegushi of Ikate Land, Oba Said Elegushi, became the first alumnus of the university to be conferred with honorary doctorate degree alongside seven eminent Nigerians. 
Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has restated his administration's commitment to support the Nigeria Immigration Service in his efforts to ease passport processing, visa issuance, and ensure proper documentation of migrants. Governor Babajide Sawulu stated this when the leadership of the Nigerian Immigration Service, led by his acting Comptroller General, Caroline Adekboju, paid him a courtesy visit at the Lagos House, Ikeja. The governor also urged the Nigeria Immigration Service to be visa friendly and ensure that necessary measures are put in place not to make Nigeria visa difficult for foreigners to obtain. So we want to um, seek and, and to you and plead that all your men, you know, put that at the back of their mind, at the back of, of, of whatever they do, that you know, not only Nigerians are watching, you know, and foreigners um, that, that find themselves coming or leaving the country, you know, leave with the experience of whatever they, they have at the border patrol, you know, and um, we believe that you will be representing us well. And your men also will be reflecting and representing us very, very well. And I think you've mentioned a lot of things. Um, um, the, 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 one of the most critical ones are the experience that Nigerians also have with the collection of, of um, um, our national you know, um, passports. Um, you can see, given the population of the country, um, that, and given the population of the youth in this country that the request for passports um, is as important for them as anything. For various reasons. Unfortunately, we don't have a national ID card. We have a name now. We have driver's license, but people still believe that they are international passports, even locally, right? It helps them, you know, to, to form a identification and give them that Nigerianness in them. So it's not everybody that wants to travel the very next day, or people just want to have you know, a Nigerian passport in their hand. You know, and of course, people also want to, Nigerians, we, 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 are, we are one of the biggest in diaspora in other parts of, of the world. And even our population, we cannot but continue to provide that service. Governor Sawunlu, who wished the Acting Comptroller General of NIS success in her new assignment, employed the federal agency to judiciously utilize the support provided by the Lagos State Government. Speaking earlier, the Acting Comptroller General of NIS, Caroline Adekboju, appreciated the efforts of the governor at supporting the agency. She said the Nigeria Immigration Service would continue to collaborate with the government and security agencies to ensure immigration process were safe. The nation's diverse communities thrive because the contributions and talents brought by individuals from around the world. As immigration professionals, we must ensure that migration process is safe, orderly, and regular. Over the past years, the service has worked tirelessly to strengthen our border security measures, streamline migration processes, and enhance our ability to identify potential threats while facilitating legitimate travels and trade. That's all we have for you on this episode of the Greater Lagos Vision on Plus TV Africa. I'm Love Kuku Oyedoku. Bye for now.